When we set out to democratize access to space, we started with launch. We wanted to make it easy for small satellites to get to orbit faster and more frequently and to do it on their terms. Our Electron rocket made that access to space a reality. The satellites we launch are keeping countries connected and borders protected. They're monitoring weather and managing waste. They're providing insights on climate change and helping us manage resources for generations to come. Space holds the keys to our future. It's where we'll innovate and explore. It's how we'll provide vital services to billions of people down here on Earth. It's how we'll connect with each other. How we'll better understand our own planet and monitor our impact on it. It's how we'll uncover new worlds and how we'll deepen our understanding of the universe and our place in it. But launch is just a part of enabling that future. For Rocket Lab, launch was only ever the beginning. Welcome to Rocket Lab. If you come to any Rocket Lab facility, you're going to see these words on the wall. We go to space to improve life on Earth. This has been a cornerstone of the company right since our beginning. But if you're going to deliver on this statement, there's a number of things you have to solve. And the first and most important thing you had to solve was access to space. This was the thing that was critical. So we kind of feel like that's a solved problem. We've launched a bunch of electrons, we're going to launch a bunch more, and access to space really isn't the problem anymore. So I'm really excited to, to be able to announce the next big step for Rocket Lab and how we're going to really deliver on that mission statement right from the very beginning. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. So Flight 14 started off as any normal flight. Well, as normal as a return to flight can be, you probably saw me in mission control there behind a little bit more stress than usual. Okay, actually probably a lot more stress than usual as you would expect from a return to flight. But mission was completely nominal and we deployed our customer Capella, uh, their spacecraft into a perfect accurate orbit um, as usual. Except uh, it wasn't a usual flight. What happened after payload deployment was actually really special. And for me personally, there was a real magical moment sitting with the engineers where we sent a command to the kick stage. And that command was a command that turned the kick stage into our very first satellite. So I want to introduce you to Rocket Lab's very first photon satellite, First Light. So as you can see behind me here, all the live data has been pumped in from the satellite uh, as it sits on orbit there. And some, some pretty sweet photos actually. The camera I've got on board is, is really, really nice. And look, we, we announced Photon more than a year ago, um, but here's what's special about this mission and what it'll achieve. Um, this first Photon mission is really focused as a technology demonstrator to prove out all of the systems and the operations and everything we need to take us to the moon and Venus and beyond. And it also provides an opportunity for our customers who are interested in Photons to actually take a look at what we've built. This is a very, very special satellite. So we already do launch, so why, why do satellites too? Um, I've been in a really, really fortunate position over the last decade to work with governments, to work with uh, startup companies and, and large traditional uh, satellite providers. And across all of those, those experiences, I'd say there'd be one thing that's, that's common across the lot. And that is, it's just really painful to go from an idea to get something on orbit. And I remember one particular spacecraft, you know, it was, the whole, it was a whole program built around how do we get from an, an idea to an orbit in a, in a really short amount of time. And that time was like 18 months and we all celebrated. Well, we need to fix that. It's got to be much less time than 18 months to get an idea uh, in, in, into orbit. And, and if we take a look across what you currently need to do to get to space, it's just a mammoth effort and it's really expensive. So we need to fix that. And after all, launches, rockets, satellites, it's all just a means to an end. And if we're all brutally honest with each other, it's just a bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. Like, doing all of that is not where the value is created. Where the value is created for everybody is, in, is you know, innovation, ideas, capability, data, that really provides insights and usefulness uh, to all of us down here on Earth. Everything else is just, just a giant pain. So here's how Photon fixes that. 
What we've tried to create here is not just a satellite, not just a launch vehicle. We've tried to create a full end-to-end -end solution where customers can just come to us with their idea or their innovation and we can get them on orbit in a really affordable time frame and a really affordable cost. Um, or, you know, Photon, I want you to think of Photon not just as this particular, you know, technology demonstrator behind me. You know, it, it starts off as a very simple spacecraft or right to its highest end version where, you know, we, we're going to the moon, for, moon with it uh, for, for the you know, NASA program uh, early next year. Or if you need a single part, you know, Rocket Lab has invested really heavily in our space systems division. We've acquired companies. Um, so if you need anything from a spacecraft to go take you to Moon or Venus or a single component, um, you know, we, we're really here to, to provide those solutions. So what we're trying to do here is reduce the time and the effort being spent on having to build, you know, build a team of experts or build your own satellites. Um, we're really trying to reduce the barrier here to get innovation and, and your ideas uh, on orbit quickly. It really enables you know, small sat op operators to focus on the bit that is really, really important. And that is not reaction wheels and star trackers and solar panels and operations at two o'clock in the morning. That, what's really useful here is the data and the services that you can use to provide insights. Look, I'm incredibly proud of what the Space System team has achieved here. Um, we announced this program uh, just a little over a year ago and we've been working tirelessly. Um, we're not just building a new satellite here or a new satellite bus. We're actually trying to fundamentally shift what it means to be able to do things in orbit and, and actually build businesses in orbit. So there's a lot to that. So I'm just going to throw over to a quick video here um, with the Space Systems team to give you a little bit more color on, on what it's taken. This is the future. I'm excited to be not only part of Rocket Lab's evolution, but really contributing to the evolution of the small satellite industry as a whole. My name is Esan Mosley, and I'm the Chief Engineer for Space Systems at Rocket Lab. Photon is the most exciting platform within the small sat industry today. It's based on the Electron kick stage and converted into a full state-of-the-art spacecraft. This allows us to build upon the heritage that we have with the kick stage and offer a complete spacecraft for any mission application, whether it be low Earth orbit, geo, or interplanetary. The Pathfinder mission lays the foundation for the incremental developments required for the broader um, photon program. And in fact, it demonstrates Rocket Lab's incremental approach to development and flight risk reduction that we can take advantage of because we're launching Electron regularly. Because Rocket Lab owns the entire process from mission concept to design to build to launch and then mission operations, we can optimize the delivery of that product to customers in an amount of time with a level of mission assurance that's unprecedented within the industry. Photon is based on the kickstage. So kickstage is really Electron's brains. Um, we upgrade the kickstage with additional equipment for high power generation, um, higher accuracy attitude control, high speed downlink, and in some cases enhanced propulsion to create a best in class small spacecraft capability. Propulsion is a major issue for small satellite developers. It ends up being a non negligible fraction of both the volume, mass, cost, and lead time when you're designing and building a spacecraft mission. Rocket Lab takes that out of the equation. Since we have propulsion in house, we're able to design around the platform and the propulsion needs of the mission and provide propulsion solutions that are quick, in-house, and rapid in order to meet the mission criteria. With a high Delta V variant of Photon that includes an upgraded engine called Hypercurie, we use an approach called phasing orbits. So the phasing orbit approach basically is a flexible uh, mission concept that can target the moon, Mars, Venus, or really any planetary destination using basically the same mission concept. I expect the future of the Photon program to look like a pretty well-balanced portfolio of commercial, civil, and national security space missions that demand a higher level of performance, in particular more on-orbit maneuverability and missions beyond low Earth orbit. Look, we've built it and clearly it works. But the most exciting thing for me personally is what it means for national security missions, DOD missions, 
commercial missions, missions to the moon, and of course, my personal favorite, missions to Venus to go and search for some origins of life. So thanks very much for joining me today um, on this webcast. I hope it's, hope it's been fun. Um, we'll keep posting these sweet pictures from Photon as they come down. Um, but look, this is just the beginning for Photon. Uh, there's a lot more to come just yet. Thanks very much.